Hey all, in this video we're going to learn how to factor a basic trinomial where the leading coefficient is going to be 1, but there's also a GCF that needs to be factored out as well as a negative. So let's take a look. Alright, so now we have this quadratic where we have a negative 2a squared plus 10a minus 12. Now looking at all three terms, I notice that we are leading with a negative number and also a 2, but it looks like we can probably factor out more than just a 1 here. So let's write our little box and write down all of our terms. So we have negative 2a squared plus 10a negative 12. So now I'm thinking that I can probably divide out each term by a negative 2. So if I factor out a negative 2 I'm left with an a squared, a negative 5, and then a positive 6. So my GCF, since I'm left over with just a GCF of 1 in the remaining trinomial, I multiply those out and my GCF is a negative 2. So then I factor out the negative 2 in my original problem and I'm left with an a squared minus 5a plus 6. From here, since I have no other common factor besides a 1, I'm going to create my diamond and in the bottom diamond will be the product of my a term. So the leading coefficient is 1 times 6 is 6. And then the middle term will go up in the top part of the diamond, my b term, so it's negative 5. So now I have to think of two numbers that multiply together to get a negative, I'm sorry, to get a 6 and add together to get a negative 5. And I believe it's a negative 2 and a negative 3. So now we're going to replace the negative 5i with negative 5a with a negative 2a minus 3a. So we have a squared minus 2a minus 3a plus 6. Now I'm going to group the first two terms together and the second two terms together and I'm going to find the greatest common factor between a squared minus 2a. So it seems like I can divide a squared and negative 2a by an a, so I'm left with an a minus 2. And in the second group, since my leading term is a negative, I'm going to factor out the negative as well, uh, along with a 3 from both terms. So I'm left with an a minus 2. So then in both groups, I'm looking at both simultaneously, and it looks like they both have a factor of b minus 2, so I'm going to factor out the b minus 2, I'm sorry, the a minus 2, excuse me, and then I'm left with an a minus 3. And keep in mind I still have that negative 2 in front, so it'll be negative 2 times a minus 2 times a minus 3, and that's considered completely factored.